Well, something else that I kind of wanted to talk with you about today is here in Greeley, a huge part of our population is of Hispanic descent, and you yourself are Hispanic. In the school, you see a lot of teachers, the districts, the students who are so hyper-focused on their race or ethnicity, and with having such a high Hispanic population, would you agree that it's almost like it's so focused on by the district and the schools here? I think it is. When I was in school, I, I never paid attention to race or, oh, that person looks like me. And now it seems as if they're really making a big deal out of it. Yeah. And in Greeley Evans District 6, on their Initiative 2030 plan, they want to increase their number of people of color hires. First of all, I've said this a thousand times, but I can't not say it. If you have to specifically call out that you're going to intentionally hire them, does that mean that you were intentionally not hiring them at one point? So much so that you have to call it out? But what are your what are your thoughts on that, on hiring specifically people of color for to quote unquote make students feel more accepted in the schools? I don't agree with it. I think it's a horrible idea. We need teachers who are going to love our children no matter whatever race they are. And it just shouldn't have to go people of color. I know they've used that term before. And to me, they always point out that the Hispanics, people of color, or our low income, we have a lower success rate of graduating. So then why would you want to hire teachers of color if that's the case? Yeah. Well, and I mean, are we really doing justice for our children? Are we really caring about their best interests? If we're not hiring the most qualified, but someone that they would identify as. Something that we talked about a little while ago was your math teacher. Can I ask, what race was she? She was white. So I think this just goes to show, like, you didn't do better because you had a Hispanic teacher. Mm -hmm. It, It was because you had a teacher that cared about you and cared about your success and didn't care about your skin color, and you didn't care about her skin color. Like, that is what we should be doing for these students and not trying to get them to think that, oh, I can't I can't learn as well because I have a white teacher. I mean, that would be just as bad as a white student saying, well, I can't learn well because I have a Hispanic teacher. That, that's, that's not acceptable. That's not okay. I mean, we need to be hiring and and providing the most qualified, the best teachers for our students and not just trying to hit some type of quota of hiring. I think, and to me, that sounds, it sounds completely racist. We're teaching our children, oh, you can't have the best degree or education if you don't have the same teacher that looks like you and talks like you. That's not how we sh- that's not what we should be teaching our children at all. No. I mean, it, that, that just makes me think of, too, they have equitable grading. So basically, you're not capable of getting a good enough grade yourself because of your skin color. So we're going to make it easier for you. Well, isn't that just the white people saying that because of your skin color, you aren't smart? I mean... What are we teaching our kids? And and aren't we just creating an environment for victimhood for kids to say, well, I can't be this good or I can't find a good job or I can't go to college because I'm, I'm not white and I'm not capable of it. Or you should do this for me or you should give me this handout because I'm a person of color and therefore that's what is expected. Mm-hmm. It's mind blowing how many people go along with this i think you're absolutely correct that it is racist 100 percent. and i often wonder like how does that work for kids who are mixed race i feel like my daughter looks like maybe you should be her mom instead of me 
So where does that put her? How is she supposed to relate to that? In the panorama surveys that are conducted by the school district, there there is one where they talk to the students. Do you feel like the media, the pictures, the stuff used around your school represent your ethnicity? And it's like, why does that even matter? Unless you're intentionally like, ooh, don't put that picture up because the kid is this race or that race. Like, that, that's ridiculous. And we're causing more division between our children. I think adolescence is a rough time for kids. There's bullies. You're trying to figure out your identity in terms of, like, what you like, who's your friend, what do you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And, and you're working through all this stuff. But like, let's throw one race. That doesn't, that doesn't make much sense to me to just add another obstacle to our kids to uh, be worried about. I, I find it interesting because to some extent, there's racism and that's not appropriate. But also, I think that we take it too far as well. You know, I mean, we've talked about racism within your own ethnicity and and some of those different things in the black community they there's like the whole like oh man that's light skin energy you know like things like that like i think what we really need to be doing is just teaching our kids how to love yourself no matter what color your skin is no matter what hair type you have no matter what color of eyes you have like that's ultimately what god wants us to to do is love ourselves to that extent because he made us the way he wanted us to be and he doesn't make mistakes it's interesting how i and maybe you can agree or disagree with this but it's almost like it's like the white people that are having to be careful but not any other of the races as though it's almost like you know only white people can be racist do you do you believe that only white people can be racist i mean i see what you're saying but no, I don't think white kids that, That's just ridiculous. It it's, can happen to anybody. It can be anywhere. It doesn't exactly matter. I'm not white, no. It, I mean, and like you said, in, in my culture, in my Hispanic culture, I'm, I've noticed it. I've witnessed it. I had confrontations with other Hispanics, and they tell me, oh, you're, you're, in, the, you're in the wrong community. And I think, and I sat there, and I said, what do you mean? We look just like each other. We are both Hispanic, so what does that even mean? It's very, I mean, it's very divided. I had the opportunity to speak with Yasmin Navarro, who was running for State Board of Education for CD8 against Rhonda Solis. And she's Hispanic. And she was talking about how, like, she gets called a coconut because she's brown on the outside, but she acts white on the inside. And I know Ryan Gonzalez has had that as well. So because your views aren't lining up with theirs, then they start to bring up race. That's ridiculous. I don't have another word for it. I think it's just, it's really sad. 